Ladies and gents, players and pimps, you guys are getting an early Thanksgiving Turkey Day video. So happy Thanksgiving to y'all. I will be out of town, so let me do this video early because I have to get on the road soon. So any extra plays will probably just be Patreon only because I know I will definitely add extra plays and see what they change by the time we have game time. But we have our original plays right here. And looking at our season total, we have 33 units, which is amazing. We're doing great. We've been on a, what, two-day, three-day losing streak with NFL. Good plays, just things didn't go our way on Monday Night Football. Loved all the plays I had. We had the um, Chargers. It was Chargers and Ravens. We had first half under that last field goal at the last second. Before buzzer beater, buzzer beater field goal that went over that hooked us. We had a bunch of plays that were just good that just literally lost by like one. You know what happens? I believe we had we needed a touchdown from what's his name Palmer, not Palmer, whatever they Justin Herbert didn't get one touchdown that hooked us. So we had a lot of things like that. It happens. So we have. Tree games, tree game. Oh, I forgot to do first touchdowns. That'd probably be something I'll add. All right, so we got tree games. First game, 12 30. My Detroit Lions are at home going against Chicago Bears. Bears are four and seven. They're an absolutely terrible team. They can't play away. The Detroit Lions are the best team in the NFL. That's why the spread, they're going to have it predict as blowout. We should absolutely destroy them. It shouldn't even be close to the game. I will go more in details with that, but we can look at it now. Let's just get, get it over out the way now. You look at Detroit. Last three games at home. 52, 52 points last time we played at home. Against Tennessee at home. 52 points. And the game before that was 42 points. So three games straight, we scored over 42 points. Six points, six points, 23, 14. 20. We're scoring a lot, and we're not letting teams score points. Best team in NFL, not looking good. Look how many games they didn't lost in a row. It's their struggle to score points. Under 19 for the most part. And y'all will see how my bets will reflect that. But, yeah, I have um, the, not the Pistons. The Lions blowing them out. Next, we got the Giants versus the Cowboys. Cowgirls, really, because they're just trash. You have a backup. This two bums fighting over a dollar. You have the backup quarterback going against the backup quarterback. What, you know, they could possibly not even score a damn touchdown in this game. The only good thing is Cooper Rush have been playing better since this is going to be his third official game starting. He's going to be able to read the defenses a little bit more. Get his swag. He beat the Commanders 34 to 26. And he looked good. He didn't throw any interceptions. Two, two touchdowns, 24 for 32. Didn't have a bad game. Didn't really have a bad game at all. So I like the Cowboys to win. Cover the spread convincingly early. You look at, you know, that's just brutal. That's the game. Don't bet a lot on that game. You're just going to piss yourself off. That'd be my advice. And last, we have the Dolphins versus the Packers. This should be a high-scoring game because both have offenses that um that can score. We got Packers last game against San Fran, 38 points. Bears only 20. That was a weird one. You know, the Lions, Lions we're going to lie in. 30-24. And, you know, Love being healthy now and look like, going to be good. With Tua looking healthy, 34, 34, 23. Was these the three games he's been back? If so, is the record is not. No, he is back this game too. But, you know, there's going against Buffalo. Both teams can score. Both teams have a good quarterback. Should be exciting. It's a great Monday night game. So we will see how that end up, end up pan, panning out. Let's look at where people got their money. Detroit game, 71% of 
Money is on Detroit. Surprise is not higher. 79% is on Detroit spread. And 84% is on the over. We, I would love to see on this one. This one, 77 on Cowboys, 85 Cowboys, and 61 to under. Last game, 87% is on the Dolphins. Very interesting. So 87% of people have that upset. 92% of people have the upset for, um, for the Dolphins to cover the spread. And 61% on the under. Wow, so they have an opposite how I think. So let's see if I did what everybody said with the um with the what you call it do, 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 where people have their money. Let's just go Miami. Then we go right here. We're gonna go with seventy seven percent of money is on a cowboy. So we just do cowboy money line. People got the under, so let's take the under. And with my Lions, we're going to go with Lions to, let's just do, I don't know, we do spread. And over. So if we did all of these up, let me take you away. Threes. And if we did all of these. What's the odds of this? If we just took what the world have. Ooh, this good money. So if we listen to where people got their money at, I'd, I'd do this. Why not? we will go $7 for 2000 That is funny. Let's see. Let me know in the comments if you guys going to do that with me. Let me know in the comments. I'm about to log in because if I don't do this right now, I'm going to forget. Let's see where the, genu the general public believe will happen. Come on, log in. Bam. All right. I got the bet in. Why not? So let's go to my official place. <clears throat> Sorry, voice is gone. Been working and doing stuff all day. All right. First thing first, I have the Chicago Bears under. I broke down why I have their unders because the Detroit Lions don't let teams score <laughs> a lot of points. The Bears don't score a lot of points. Just a smart move. Next, I have the Lions over on points, over 30 points. We over 42 the last three games at home. It's just a smart play. And since we haven't won on Thanksgiving um, when the last time the Detroit Lions won? When was the last time Lions won? Oh, people already got it. Last time we won every Thanksgiving game since 2016, y'all. 2016. So in eight years, we haven't won on Thanksgiving. And I have been to probably six of those games. We always lose on Thanksgiving. Y'all, yeah, look, look at my face, man. As a Lion fan, bro, y'all don't understand. I went to every single Thanksgiving game, and it messed up your Thanksgiving. It's supposed to be a happy time for you and your family. You go, and we gonna lose. But it's never just like a blowout. It's always a good, entertaining game. Then it's going to break your heart last second and we're going to lose. To go into a Thanksgiving where we should win, I expect us to win. They upset us. Thank, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. So, I like that. Next, we have Lions to cover the spread and we have the double-headed monsters. We have Gibbs for 60 and Montgomery for 25. Montgomery... Um, they say he's probable or questionable because he got an injury. Um, he didn't play the rest of last game. I think it's the shoulder, so we will see. But I'm just gonna act like he's fully healthy. So we got this four unit. Next, we got Jared Goff, and we got I'm on Ross St. Brown because even if we blow him out, since we ain't won in a zillion years, there, our coach ain't pulling starters. He don't care if we have sixty. We giving some people to eat. We do the craziest plays you can because we ain't pulling starters this game. I bet you that. 
like that for a unit. And this is half a unit for the Detroit Lion Thanksgiving Turkey Sweep. That's what I just named it. The full thing. Golf 225. Easy. I'm a Ross St. Brown gets six receptions in the first half. Detroit is going to blow him out early. Gibbs, 60 yards. He can get that off one run. David Montgomery going to get a 25-yard touchdown. We're going to score a zillion points. There, we're going to get them on a hook at 18. Should make it interesting. And we're going to win a lot of money. Next, I like the Dolphins over. Well, not the Dolphins. This game over. I like both quarterbacks. They both have quarterbacks that can move the ball down the field. We'll see if they can score touchdowns. But I know Love can. I know um, Tua can. Should be a good touchdown game. I'll, I like it personally. Now, we have two no sweats. Thank you, God, for these no sweats because we ain't had some in a while. So they gave us two for this one. I don't want to go crazy. Let me just win y'all some money. We're going plus 424. All receptions. All receptions. This is going to hit. Plus 424. No hooks. Good money. Next one. Plus 424. What's the odds that he's been the exact same? It is written already, y'all. It is written. See if we got the first game. See if we got the second game. And see if we got the third game. Both of no sweats hit. You guys are happy. So here go the boost plays. Two touchdowns each, two touchdowns each game. Why not? Next boost. Two touchdowns each game. Why not? $10 for each of them. Get you over 13 hundo. Get you 17 hundo. All bumps fighting over a dollar on Bet MGM. No sweat. Everybody go under. They ain't let me do DeVito, so he didn't make it. Next, we're doing some same game parlays that they gave us 50% boost. This is what I believe will happen. Going to be an interesting game. Throw touchdowns, a lot of yards. These people do their thing. $10 get us 130 Next game, I got Cowboys to win by three and a half. <clears throat> um, Cooper Rush. Probably not throw any touch, um, a lot of touchdowns. He could, but I believe he can get in the red zone and get yards. But it's gonna probably be hard from the score. And we're going neighbors is gonna go under, cause I gotta sweat every time I take his over. One ninety, ten dollars get you one ninety. Last, we know golf gonna throw touchdowns. J Mo, he's gonna get a big play. Laporta, just be healthy, catch the ball, give him enough passes. Because they don't be giving Laporte enough passes sometimes. Tim Patrick, he's been being implemented in there a little bit more. And we're going to do Sam Laporta touchdown. $10 get us 205 Now here go a bunch of tenth of a unit plays, $10 plays. I have them scattered. I have them different all around. 10 4 4 First quarter plays each game. Bam, first quarter play. 15 yards each player, popcorn player. 20 yards, both of them to 15 for Swift. Next, we have a uh, same game parlay. 10 to get you 249. Same game parlay. 10 to get you 257. Same game parlay. 10 to get you 214. I am losing my voice. Same game parlay with an under. All unders. 10 to get you 335. That uh, full under looks sweet. These full unders on the other two games. 10 to get you 770. And we have a round robin. So a dollar, two dollars, just five dollar plays for some touchdowns. Five gets you six eighty six, right here. Five to get you eight eleven. Five to get you one fourteen. Five to get you seventy six. Five to get you four thirty one. Last two right here. Ten to get you ninety eight. Hundred yards. Who can do it? Five to get you one fifty eight. One twenty five. Rushing plus receiving. Five to get you 131. Three touchdowns. Five, 
to get you five hundo. That's beautiful. And this one, you couldn't do three touchdowns with DeVito, but we'd do 25 passing yards each quarter. Five to get you 434. These plays look absolutely beautiful, people. Look amazing. We are going to have a win in Thanksgiving because my Lions are playing. Let's make a lot of money. Don't be lame. Join the Hall of Fame. See you guys in the community chat. And I'm gone.